Just ask Susan Johnson, a quality assurance and system safety manager for Rocketdyne Propulsion and Power. Every day, her job revolves around the activities of the Space Shuttle main engine team at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. My day usually starts at 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, I usually uh, have a lot of employees that come in actually that early. Um, uh, we talk and discuss things that's happened during the, the previous days and what's planned for that day. Even though she's the only female manager on the team, Susan says it's never been an issue. We kid a lot, but uh, we have a lot of respect for each other, and I don't really look at it as being the only female in, in my position. I just kind of look at it as being, you know, me and what I want to accomplish in this program. The solid rocket boosters, or SRBs, are jettisoned two minutes into flight. But the space shuttle's three main engines keep working during the entire eight and a half minute ride into space until main engine cutoff, or MECO. When Susan and the team prepare the engines for flight, nothing is more important than safety. What happens every day in the, in the engine shop is we, we take our engines through the paces when, it's, when they're not installed in the orbiter. We make sure the systems are good. We make sure uh, there's no leaks in the engine. We make sure that uh, the software is good that's loaded into it. And, uh, and those are the engines that we prepare for launch each time. The payoff for all that hard work comes on launch day. The most exciting part of my job is getting to watch a shuttle launch from a couple of miles away. We go outside and, and watch the launch and the engine people are standing around waiting for the engines to cut off and we're waiting for that last Miko.